Happy Saturday, guys. What's up? Welcome in to another episode of the Daily Juice Podcast with me, Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk Matt. That is my handle across all socials. Some of you guys have decided to send me DMs. I get it. It's been a bad week. I apologize for the picks, but I'm losing money right along with you guys. Hopefully, things will change on a Saturday and a Sunday, but I'm not going to go as big as I normally would have gone because normally I go pretty big on Saturdays. Nah, we're pretty cold. It's been a rough week. It's been one of those weeks that sports betting, I love it. I love this podcast, but let's be frank here. There's bigger things at work here. You know, there's a homicide investigation going on on the campus that I work on at UNLV. Not every day you get emails from the police and says, hey, Anybody have any information about the three deaths that happened on campus? Because that's what happened this week. Now, I'm not using that as an excuse by any means. I'm just explaining to you kind of where my mindset has been over the last couple of days. So one and two last night, if you're like, that's horrific. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's been a bad week. I've lost every day but one so far this week. But I kind of put things into perspective. It's a week. It's betting. Don't bet more than you can afford to lose. That would be the lesson of all of this, right? I'm not. You shouldn't. Be careful. Be betting inside your means, right? Or just bet what you want to bet and don't bet what I bet. Or fade my picks, one of the two, you know? I'm telling you what I bet. I'm telling you why I bet what I bet, and you guys can fade or follow. The information is there. You can do what you want with it. That's this podcast, The Daily Juice, 365 days a year, every day, every single day day. This podcast is being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. You guys go to Omaha Steaks. You get 30 bucks off. Awesome time to send a gift. Loved one, boss, maybe somebody you haven't seen in a long time, family member. Let them do the shipping for you, the packaging, the wrapping, all that stuff. Omaha Steaks takes care of it. Holiday sale going on right now. 50% off at the moment. Holiday sale. You guys with the promo code JUICE get $30 off. Additionally, at omahasteaks.com, juice in the search bar in the promo code area at checkout. Minimum purchase may be required at omahasteaks.com. Okay, so normally on a Saturday, I come up and I've got like a bunch of plays, right? I have five, six units in play and that's, you know, but I'm not going to do that today. I've got three bets and three sports. This, I'm going to treat this kind of like a Monday or a Tuesday and then we'll see what Sunday looks like. We'll see how we go into it because... You know, look at it. when you're cold, I shrink the number of bets I make officially. Okay. Just because you want to start to kind of get the board, see the board, right? I'm clearly not seeing the board, right? Edmonton. We got that right four three, the over hit the puck line did not. So I went two and one in the hockey game that I told you about last night. I went oh and two in basketball. So I'm not going to bet in, in the NBA. I'm not going to bet college today. I, I want to watch a little bit more to get a little better of a feel. I'll do some personal betting with with college, but I want to watch this a little bit before I get heavily involved with college on a Saturday. There's a huge college basketball slate, but I think this is a good day to learn a bit, to kind of sit back and see how things are going to go with no college football except for one game. So nothing in college basketball. I have one bet in college football, one bet in the NBA, and one bet in the NHL for us here today. So the, the hope is to go 2-1 and one or 3-0. Three 3-0 and oh. Three and oh would be great. That put us back on track. Uh, these are my three favorite plays for the day. I'll give you one personal bet that you can add on to if you would like. But let's start with Army versus Navy. The line's 2.5. Okay, if it goes to 3, everyone's taking Navy at plus 3. Okay, this is probably a 3-point line. The total is 27 and a half, 28. You can make a case for over or under. These two teams are literally the Spider-Man meme. They are identical. I mean, they give up the same number of points. They score the same number of points. They're pretty much the same ATS, and they're pretty much the same straight up. The difference is, is that Army played a higher caliber of opponent, and I think Army just has more talent, Okay. I don't think we go crazy here. Navy could very well win this. This is a rivalry game. You got to keep track of the football. A lot of people have made the case for the over. It is, uh, we bet so many unders with Iowa. This is like an automatic. You bet the under, 
in the Army Navy game. I'd rather try to get a better number in game. Like maybe somebody scores fast in the first quarter and the number jumps to like 34, 35. I would feel much more comfortable betting under that number than I would be betting under 27 and a half, 28 to 28 and a half. It's just, there's too many fluky things that can happen. You can get four touchdowns scored, two in either half. That's it. One for each team. And that's all you need. And the game goes over. So while the under, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's an automatic, right? Army, Navy unders. It's an auto fire. Army beat Air Force 23 to three. They beat Navy. They win the Commander's Cup. And that's a big deal, okay? Not just beating your rival, but it's a big deal as well. You can beat both teams in the same year. Navy was, I mean, our, sorry, Air Force was undefeated at the time. They were ranked. They were 18 and a half point favorites. They lost 23 to three. I think this Army team gets up for these games. Not that Navy doesn't, but I think Army is just a more talented team. I'm going to lay the two and a half. Army minus two and a half at minus 110 for 1.1 units here. Bet the under if you want, okay? But bet it at your own peril. I want to bet it in-game. I'm going to watch the total in-game and get involved that way. Army, first bet, minus two and a half. Second bet, Pacers against the Lakers. You can shop around. There's fours and four and a halves flying around. I'm not sure what the number will be when you guys get up. But look, the Pacers have played the Celtics, the Bucks, and now the Lakers. If they win this, that's a hell of a run. But I'm kind of comparing this to what happens when teams play in the NCAA tournament and they make runs to the Final Four. And when they get to the Final Four, the magic kind of wears off a little bit. And they, not that they lay a stinker, but they don't play nearly as well because there's film and the opponent takes them seriously. Not that the Bucs and the Celtics didn't take the Pacers seriously as much as the Pacers are the lowest, have the lowest payroll in basketball. They've made 200000 for making the final. They'll get an additional 300000 if they win. They'll make a half a million dollars. Do the Lakers need money? No. But it's going to be a home game here in Vegas. Like, I'm not kidding you. Like, 99% of people are going to be cheering for the Lakers, and it's going to be a pretty big crowd, okay? This is a weekend. This is the Lakers in Vegas. A lot of Laker fans are driving over to watch the first ever NBA Cup. And while I do think the over is a good play, the Lakers scored 133 points. You've seen 120 plus points scored in both games, 128 points, I believe it was, in the semifinal. I think you're getting 120 out of the Pacers. We'll get probably 130 here out of the Lakers. Probably a 10, 5 to 10 point win for the Lakers. The Pacers play no defense whatsoever. And I think LeBron James cares about these things. You want to bet LeBron LeBron props? Bet him everything over. Rebounds, points, triple-double even for LeBron. I just think he cares about this stuff. Like most stars don't. LeBron does. I mean, he will want to win this. He will want to have this on his resume. Winner of the first ever NBA Cup. He gets it for the Lakers. And I think the safer play is to lay the four with the with the Lakers, minus four. Officially, I'm going to lay the points with the Lakers, minus four at 1.1 units. But I also am on the over. I, I think the over 240 and a half, 241. I think it's very possible we see a high-scoring game, much like we saw with the Bucs and the, and, and, the, and the Pacers. The Lakers play better defense. And like there may be the, the inclination to say, okay, it's a championship game. They're going to lock down. That's possible, okay? So that's why I'm, I'm not as strong on the over as I am with the side. So I think the better play is the side. And I want to make the side official because what if, right? The Pacers play defense against the Celtics. We bet the over in that game. We were wrong. So I'm a little gun shy when it comes to the Pacers, even though we bet under in their semifinal game, and that came in because it ran to 257 and a half. It closed at 247. Okay, we by, by 10 points, way under. But I think there's an opportunity there if you look at what has happened with the Pacers that they're going to come out flying. I think over in the first half may be a decent bet. If you really want to play a total over in the first half, I don't mind that at all. But as the game gets to the fourth quarter, I could see it slowing down. And then maybe with like one or two possessions on either way for the total. And that worries me. Okay. I think the Lakers win the game. I think they win it by more than two possessions. I'm going to lay the four here. Lakers minus four 
for 1.1 units. That goes to hockey and the NHL. And look, hockey has been up and down. I, I love betting hockey. I think it's such a fun sport to bet, but I understand if some of you guys are getting frustrated. I mean, we had Edmonton last night, and we got that right. And now I'm going to look at the Rangers. And the Rangers have been playing really well. The Washington Capitals have not. And this is going to be a fun day of hockey all over the place. The Bruins are playing the Anaheim uh, so, yeah, the Bruins are playing the Arizona Coyotes in Boston. First first game of the day, okay? Bruins are pretty big favorites. Don't mind the under in that game. Vegas is playing on the road against Dallas. That's a 1 p.m. start on the road. First period under in that game. Don't mind it at all. Vegas to the, the under as well in the game. Don't mind that at all. New York is at Washington. That's a 7 o'clock nighttime start, okay? This is... Most likely, Yesterkin with Igor against Darcy Kemper. I don't mind the under in this game, but the Rangers are 10-3-1 on the road. Capitals are 7-4-2 straight up at home. Capitals have lost three games in a row. Rangers have won three of four. They lost the first game of this road trip 6-2 to two to Ottawa. Bounce back spot here for the Rangers. They're pretty big favorites. Okay, they're minus 165 on the money line, but they're minus 110 in regulation, total is five and a half. Some places are going to go to six. Don't mind the under in this game, but I think the Rangers win the game in regulation. Rangers in regulation, minus 110 is a 1.1 unit bet against the Capitals. They've been struggling. Rangers are really good on the road. Bounce back spot here after the loss to Ottawa. Rangers 10 3 and 1 straight up in regulation. Rangers over the Capitals for 1.1 units. Okay. Three bets going small. It's not been a good week. Okay. (laughs) Just not been a good week. Trying just to get a winning day here, go two and one, get to winning day and then head on into Sunday and hopefully have some decent stuff out there. But I gave you a bunch of other options. You guys can bet on if you would like, but the official plays are army minus two and a half Lakers minus four Rangers in regulation at minus one ten. Why am I not playing totals? Haven't been great betting totals. Let's see how we go with sides here for today. Laying some points here, laying some juice here. Rangers, Lakers, and the Army, uh, the Army and Army Navy. Okay, those are our three plays for us in the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat. You guys can come find me. We'll add some stuff, hopefully not officially, but we'll have some unofficial bets going, mostly in hockey later on tonight. Come in and check it out. My name is Matt Peralta. You guys can follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt every single morning. The Daily Juice podcast. I was being brought to you by OmahaStakes.com.